Hi everyone, this is Ami, and in this video we're going to see how users uh, in a Wi-Fi network, in a Wi-Fi area, I mean either ESS or BSS, they can use the medium, they can share data uh, uh, when they have justice. I mean, all of them can use in a, like an equal way, I would say. How with these things, DCF, PCF, and HCF, what are these? The first one is distributed coordination function. The appearance of the, them, I mean, all of them are, uh, that goes back to 802.11e, uh, the year of 2005. And uh, what are the technical terms related to that uh, CSMACA, carrier sense multiple access with uh, collision avoidance? In this uh, concept, we have a clear to send and a request to send and also channel assessment. But I'm going to explain all of them in the blackboard. Uh, just uh, right now, I'm just telling you what are those, and then we'll see all of them. Next one, PCF, uh, point coordination function. Here we have CSMACD, collision detection. And in this one, uh, we have a contention mechanism. So this is the one that actually deploying of that is a little difficult and mostly you know, in access points, we have DCF, not PCF, but this is one of the te techniques. And the last one is HCF, which is like something like a hybrid uh, function. And uh, what's that? I have to provide a quality of service. The first one, EDCA, actually it's like, uh, like an extension of uh, one of the previous ones. We have uh, enhanced distributed channel assessment. In this area, we're gonna prioritize based on upper layer protocols. For example, voice has a higher priority, or I don't know, like video, it has the highest priority. These are the things. Or in HCCA, uh, H actually, it's hybrid coordination function control channel uh, access. In this way, stations are prioritized. You can set, for example, your uh, cell phone, your laptop, it has the highest priority to share data. And yeah, these three things. But now we would like to understand them better. Uh, let's go to the blackboard. I'm going to just uh, draw something to you and explain them uh, to you. Stay tuned. The first uh, concept is CSMA. Uh, in order to explain it and have a better understanding on that, uh, let's take a look at these computers. They're connected to each other uh, via a Cisco 2960 layer to switch. And uh, let's say computer number one is going to share something, some sort of data computer number two and how this computer will do it the computer uh, does share some voltages like this in the channel in the medium what if at the same time computer number uh, four wants to do the same i mean share some data like here here to computer number two and uh, shares like these voltages this waveform and the channel in the medium what will happen? They think that in networking concept, we call that collision. I mean, for sure we have collision here. How to do that? How to prevent it? Uh, they do channel assessment. They do channel assessment. They uh, sense the carrier in the channel. If there is nothing, they will share uh, data. So this is channel assessment and this is carrier sensing. But in, um, DCF, it's a little different, somehow the same. In DCF, we have CSMACA, Kerosense Multiple Access, Collision Avoidance, not, uh, this one is Channel Assessment, this one is Collision Avoidance. How, uh, just I'm explaining it in the simplest way. We have our sender, whatever it is, like smartphone, iPad, laptop, and we have our AP or router, whatever here. At first, when the sender uh, wants to share something, it sends a request here, which we call that request to send. It is saying, hey, I would like to share something. I mean, uh, and I have a request to send. If everything is clear, if everything is okay to do that, AP responds with okay. It's clear to send. 
I know in networking concept, we have some acknowledge uh, messages here, but I told you we would like to have it in the simplest way. This is this concept. Uh, each user, uh, no matter the size, they send a request, like request to send, and the AP will say, okay, it's clear for you to send. This is uh, the way users will manage their medium in DCF, distributed coordination function. But in a PCF, uh, it's totally different. In PCF, the AP will act like a god and will take, will take the responsibility to take over everything. I mean, say, uh, okay, it is me. I'm gonna control everything, I'm gonna manage, and I'm gonna detect whatever will happen here. So CSMA collision detection. I'm not gonna let a collision happens here. How? I would say we have like user number one, three cell phones, user number two, and finally user number three. And they would like to share something. The god will say, okay, I'm the god and I'm deciding who to share something. I will throw a dice for you. And based on your number, you will have your time to share. For example, for the user one, the dice will be two. For user two, dice will be one. And for user three, dice will be, for example, four. And the god says, okay. It's time for number one and user to say, yay, it's my time. Then uh, God says, okay, enough. Number two and user one says, yay, it's my time. I won, I can share something. And then uh, God says, okay, enough. Number three, no one. Number four, uh, finally user three will send something. So in this way, uh, PCF will work. I mean, the AP will manage. But how, uh, to be honest, it's more complicated than this, but I would like to explain it in the simplest way. It will be like this. There is a, this is something that we call it a sliding window. Uh, there is like a sliding uh, window, one, two, three, four, five, six. And each number is an opportunity to send. And there is another window onto that, like this. Which all of them are blocked and just, uh, you know, one of them is open. This window is on this one. So it will be like this. with blocked sectors. So it starts like sliding. So number one, number one sends, and it slides, then go to number two, then number three, then number four. In this way, each uh, user have the same amount of time, the same amount of band, you know, frequency band, to share data. This is the concept of a sliding window. And in general, whatever it is, uh, it's what we call that contention mechanism. It's like a contest. And user are the contestant here. And uh, okay, so far so good. I mean, no matter how difficult it is to I mean, implement and deploy, the thing is that the concept right now is easy. But there are some conditions, some ifs. What if users, uh, I don't know, have the same number in their dices? Or what if uh, all of them just, for example, this at this time, user tree is number four. Next time will be, I don't know, five. Or after that, six. What will happen to user tree? Always the last person to share something so what is what uh, what is the feeling of that i don't know either angry or sad whatever it is user three will be the loser 
how to manage this let's say we have three atoms like you say at uh, my first atom my second atom and my third atom and the rest of the maturing protein how many users do we have a user one then we have user two then we have user number three okay cool this is my table and i would take a look at this for the first try uh, they will have for example one then two then for example four for the next time it will be two uh, five five so in this case or in the scenarios like this uh, what will happen none of them will send and the god the ap will throw the dice again for them and uh, what if the next time it will be so this one is solved like four three and six the thing that I mentioned earlier, like the loser, the loser, loser. When something like that happens, I mean, in each atom, in each try, uh, when one of them uh, had a number, which is the highest, and the, the, the higher the number, I mean, the lower the priority. In scenario like this, in such cases, the AP, will give this loser user the highest priority or a good chance in the next try why to have the same opportunity to have uh, equal chances to share data in the medium and in this way again in dcf in, sorry in pcf they, uh, I mean, the AP will manage that. So we can now we can see how sophisticated uh, is this mechanism, is this protocol, and this is uh, why some. Actually, I would say most of them, not some, between DCF, PCF, and HCF vendors are mostly reluctant to use this one, and this one is like the best one components and all of them i would say are using this one okay cool this is a whatever that i wanted to tell you in this video about dcf pcf and hcf i hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah that's it i hope you like that if you like that just show me a thumbs up and uh, if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye everyone. Bye.